All right, today we are going to buy shoes, a hat. We're gonna to go to Third Street, hopefully out of the Nordstrom's there. And then we are hopefully gonna be LA girls and get some juice. Brand. Okay, so this is the brand. We're well, not a hat. First they asked me if I want a woman's hat, then they asked me if kids I want a hat. kid's hat. <laughs> and now I can't find my actual hat. Oh wait, snap back. Don't skimp an arm day. I think I think he's he's more uh, swole than you. <laughs> you are. The hat that you always want to buy. The perfect hat. It sucks when it's gone. In pursuit of the perfect hat. Another attempt. Oh, Hats a no go. Maybe some shoes. All right. Complete fail by Ryan trying to get a hat today. Went uh, to like show them my new shoes. Ooh. Went to like. 20 different places. We went to four places. Four. It, felt, it felt like 20 how long we were there. Ooh, got some healthy juice. All right, we definitely didn't come down this alley. No, we did. No, we didn't. Dude, Not I, this one. I She had a very good conversation with the shopkeep in there about what kind of scotch is the best scotch. No, you could actually tell a difference though. Like, I'm telling you, if you ever drink a red label before and then you go from like red label to blue label, I mean, there is no hangover when you're drinking blue label. Can I show people my order number? No, don't do that. They might take your order. My boy with his fucking fresh suit. Let's see. Dropping it. all Hold kinds of money. Hold it up. Yeah, dropping all kinds of money today. And then I got this fresh jacket, fresh hat. Woo! We are going to go pick up a wired up keyboard. Well, I hope you guys like my new hat because this is my replacement from the baby that I lost. The good news is I can surf with this hat. Yeah. It's like a really good surfing hat, so. We got it at a surf shop, so we can, we'll bring, so. We can bring it out on the wall. I was doing my live blog from my house, I believe it was like two weeks ago. A lot of people are saying that, like, how bad they want to like move to Santa Monica and Venice. And I'm just like, well, if you're in the tech industry, you gotta fucking move down here. Yeah, well, Southern California area, definitely Los Angeles, Santa Monica, Venice area is just the place to be. There's a lot of stuff in downtown and Hollywood. All right, we'll continue this journey. We just picked up the wired up keyboard. Real quick. Let's see what it looks like. Actually, All right, today we are doing a Raspberry Pi Zero. It's a small computer. If you can find one, they're like about $5. But the first thing that you want to do when setting up your Raspberry Pi is you need to load an operating system onto your Raspberry Pi. And the way that you do this is there's a, a micro SD card for for the Raspberry Pi Zero. It's the same thing with the Raspberry Pi 2, um, except it's a regular SD card. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this into the computer. We're gonna be using the distribution Raspbian, um, which is a Debian version of the Raspberry Pi operating right. system. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> Ryan put the, the SD card in backwards. You guys want to see the command? These are the commands that we use to so just copy and paste the image onto SDD. Okay, so I plugged in the memory card. As you see, it's this little thing here. Um, so right now you can see that like we have a computer with an operating system. But what we want to do is, since we're going to, uh, our actual goal for today is to put a, a server on this and be able to access it from this computer. The server I am the writing. The way to do that is, with these little ones, you actually need an adapter to be able to make it a regular email USB port. And then you can plug in a USB Wi-Fi connector. Okay, so here is uh, the 802.11. It's plugged in. Um, you would do the same thing with your Raspberry Pi 2. Go ahead and plug it into one of those ports. So we need to connect this guy to the internet. And this is probably one of the most painstaking things 
with setting up your Raspberry Pi is you actually need to connect it to the internet somehow. Connecting it to like a keyboard monitor and luckily we since we picked up a keyboard earlier and I have right, a so monitor got, here. The... Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I just gotta add some more adapters to be able to connect this thing up to the keyboard and to this this cable here or actual HDMI. Alright, as you can see this kind of looks like the new MacBook Pros. Got a bunch of dongles and adapters connected to it. Right behind the camera, we have a monitor here. So we're going to connect to this monitor, so that way we can see the Linux distro, we can boot it up, and then you can actually use a keyboard and... Okay, so we have a couple things plugged up, and now let's see if we can turn it on. There we go. Beautiful. We switched over to the Raspberry Pi 2 for now. No, so what we did, what I just did is started the UI. All right, so we're just trying to testing this one out, making sure it's uh, connected to the internet and everything. I think the test is going to be as if, you know, we'll be able to hit 192.168.0.13 with port 8000, right? Well, there's a number of ways you can get information from your computer onto the Raspberry Pi. We are going to directly just create the file on the Raspberry Pi. But what you can do is you can use FTP. You can also use you can Git. Save a file on Vim. Save a file on Vim and quit. Do WQ means write and quit. It's a little snippet of my Python server. Very simple. Using basic libraries. Base HTTP server. Simple HTTP server, and then using the library that comes with it, sys. Cool. Server is running. We have a server. So now, you can see that we're connecting to the Raspberry Pi from a remote location, meaning that if you were to set up a Raspberry Pi in your home, you can set up a server on it, and then when you're inside of your home, you can access it. We got it. Woo!